So guys, Keith Kelfus. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how I got the entire window cleaning side of my business off the ground for under $50. It was the dead of winter. I had just started my business and I wasn't getting any unemployment and we were broke. So I was the guy who was running into CVS and things like that uh, in the drugstores looking at all the small business opportunity magazines. How can I make money now, right? And I was like window cleaning for some business cards, a squeegee and a scrubber and some soap. I blew up, uh, I sold 42 recurring accounts in 48 hours out of pure desperation. So in this video, check out my internet TV commercial. It looks like a $10,000 commercial. I got that with a website through a multimedia company. I paid 12, 1500 bucks, you know, after I got some money going and some other internet TV commercials that cost me $15 off Fiverr.com. So I, I developed this whole presence and it became page one on Google in my city that made it look like I was some big professional company and, and I wasn't. And it really, when your back is up against a wall, it's surprising what you can do. So check out the video and at the end of the video, uh, I'll be telling the story of how I did it. So, all right, enjoy. Are your windows dirty? with filthy window sills and tracks and dusty window screens? When's the last time you had your windows clean? Clean shiny windows with sparkling sills and tracks make the clear difference in the appearance of your home. At Kelfus Professional Services, we take window cleaning to an entirely new level. Our pure water technology system can clean windows up to 45 feet. Our uniformed and courteous staff go the extra mile to ensure every customer is happy every single time. So call. Five eight six. Oh, look at this. The Pure Water Technology Carbon Fiber Window Cleaning System. No ladders. Clean the windows. Five bucks a window. What? 90 seconds per window. What? Huh. Goes up to 45 feet. What is this line? this four stage water purification system pre sedimentary filter carbon filter carbon block filter and di tank what's that oh it's a dni di is not di and i's are window cleaning system i can't hear myself because i got these earplugs in no really i just can't pronounce words <laughs> window cleaning no overhead Sure, the dollar amount per job is smaller, but when you really do the math, the overhead is like totally, there's no overhead. It's just labor. That's why I do window cleaning. Okay, I'm back to clean some windows. Goodbye. Here you are with the Pure Water Technology Atory Water Fit Pole System, 45 feet. Well, that's not 45 feet, but see he's doing the final rinse now. The thing works awesome. We are at Kelfus Window Cleaning. Mm, a very thorough job. We'll clean all the tracks meticulously. Are your windows dirty? When's the last time you had your windows cleaned? Call 586. Hi, it's Keith Kelfus with Kelfus Window Cleaning. Today I want to show you, my customer, exactly what we're doing. We're not just cleaning glass. We're essentially going in and aggressively scrubbing all the tracks, sills, the gears. This one I pretty much already did, but I'm showing you. If another company gives you a quote that's a half or even a third of the price, I can almost guarantee you they're not going in and aggressively scrubbing all the, the grease, dirt, grime, bugs, all those you know, things that you know the homeowner doesn't want to do. So I want to make sure that the customer, you, are, are getting you know every dollar in value of your money's worth so no matter what window you open up in your house, if you leave, you're going to be ecstatically happy knowing that, you know, the guys that you hired, you know, did a very, very thorough job. This one's almost done, but I want to show you what this one looks like. Our one guy already went through with the shop vac. I mean, it was packed with everything imaginable. I mean, this is before and over here is what's looking like after. So after we do a completely thorough job, we scrub all this out, and then we clean the glass. So it's very, very thorough work. So Kelfus, go to kelfusservices.com. Today I'm going to show you how we clean your screens. 
they're really dirty, we take them outside and we use this dust buster head right here. I do a left right motion from top to bottom to knock off all the bulk of the dirt, the dust, any spider webs. And a lot of the pollen and cotton stuff floating in the air in the spring. It might be hard to see on camera, but there's a cloud of dust badly. So up, down, left, right motion from every angle on both sides. The screen isn't that bad. We can, you know, just like that. But these ones are significantly dirty. So I take my soaking wet scrubber here, microfiber with all the soap in it, and I do the same exact motion, like this. Get the frames. Flip it around. And voila, now that this screen here now is totally clean and spotless. A little bit of water here, smack it right off. Now this screen is totally clean and ready to go. Because if your windows are 100% clean, but your screens are still dirty, we put screens back over a clean window, you can't enjoy the clean view. So a nice clean screen complements a clean window. So go to kelpuswindowcleaning.com, and I'm Keith. Have a great day. We just finished up doing a premium deluxe window cleaning for a customer here over by Kegel Harbor, north of West Bloomfield in Michigan. Uh, the windows were pretty dirty because as you can see, we're off the water. Very beautiful out here. And there's a lot of windows. Obviously, the customer couldn't reach to get all those. Right. All right. So everything you, you've seen, uh, that stuff's all over the internet. And customers see that in my city. My phone rings. And we do high-end window cleaning jobs and if I've made I'm not kidding 1500 profit in a day whatever some of you guys are like oh that's peanuts I make I'm talking to the guys who you need money okay but 1500 profit in a day was is really good to me and here's how it started like I said it's the middle of the winter I'm broke I'm looking at these magazines and how to make money how to start businesses for under a thousand bucks so I spent 20 bucks on a squeegee and a scrubber at Home Depot and I literally went up and down the main plaza strips in my city, banging on doors until dark. I'd walk into the small business. I'm like, is the owner in? Wait for the owner. And I'm like, hi, my name's Keith. I own a local window cleaning business. I'm currently expanding in this area. Do you have anybody that already cleans your windows? It didn't matter what they said because I was going to undercut the price and I was lying to them. I didn't own a local window cleaning company. I had no idea what I was doing and I was scared and I was horrible at cleaning windows. But I knew that I was starving to death and needed to do something now. So there I am cleaning windows for 10 bucks per store and we were so broke and so desperate and I was so desperate. I did the impossible man. I went out and sold 42 monthly accounts. No, and bi-weekly. 42 accounts in 48 hours, man. 48 hours. I built an entire window cleaning business in 48 hours because I was that hungry and you can do it too. Then as the summer came, you know, I started getting into doing those little TV commercials and advertising and making door hangers. And then I, I built a, a, another 50 to 60 clients over the next year, and we're doing mansions now. We're making money cleaning windows. Dude, when I first went into people's houses, I wasn't wearing those booties on my feet. We were tracking mud through people's houses. Oh my God, now I gotta clean people's floors. They didn't call me back. I was undercharging, letting people rip me off and take advantage of me. And little by little, as you grow and you grow in your professionalism, and you learn more and you get better at it, because, dude, I was scared. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm like, oh my God, we're going into people's houses and I'm not even insured. It was really scary. I'm talking terrifying. I came home every day with almost tears in my eyes, just beaten and broken down because, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. And got better and better and better and better. I got that water fed pull system you've seen. Dude, I dropped 1250 bucks on that thing and I dumped out change to get it and I was scared and the very next day did a window cleaning job make $372 in uh, a day and then the more and more you do the jobs you reschedule the customers for each next you know every six months every year quarterly whatever they want it you come and you get faster at it you learn how to take out screens 
And uh, yeah, you can make a thousand bucks a day. I got a buddy who makes a grand a day every single day cleaning windows for cash. When I do windows, uh, I don't know, 500 bucks a day. Uh, this year I'm going towards a grand a day minimum cleaning windows. And that's not even a lot of money in window clean because there's no overhead, man. There's no overhead. It's an amazing business model and anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. And that's what they call Bucket Bob, the guy who just cleans windows. So what sets you apart is pr professional communication. Like, you know, having your shirt tucked in, your back straight and a clipboard and presenting yourself as a licensed, insured, legitimate professional company who screens all their employees and you build a trusting relationship with your clients. It takes a lot longer to get into people's homes, residential window cleaning. And I learned, hey, if I'm already doing their landscaping, I could do landscaping and window cleaning, right? Oh, hence this is my truck, you know, landscaping and window cleaning. But I don't want to go any more diversified than that. That seemed to really work for me and my business. And I was saying, dude, there's a million ways to make money, and that's the window cleaning side of the business. All the other stuff, how do you do this, how do you do that? Uh, Fiverr.com, F-I-B-E-R-R.com. You can get the commercials made and hire professional voiceover talents and everything for like 15 bucks. Hire a local multimedia company and shoot a TV commercial. Uh, do voiceovers. Put videos on the internet of you working and label it. Anything you can to get the edge. And the truth is, if you want it bad enough, or you're broke enough, you, you'll figure out how to do anything. Because I was the guy with total low self-esteem, terrified, trapped in a job, and after you go through this whole process, you really learn, whoa, you can go out and start any small business. You could go start a carpet cleaning, you do whatever you want, you can put your balls on the line and learn how to do it. So I have so much gratitude now, and it's opened up my whole life, and you can totally do it if you want to do it. So yeah, I hope you got something out of that. Keep Kelpus out. What's going on there? This is Keith Kelfis, founder of the Window Cleaning Blueprint and author of the book, How to Make $500 a Day Cleaning Windows. In this video, I wanna talk about some very important things, six things that I believe are the most important thing you have to consider before getting into the window cleaning business. This can be lucrative, it could be simple, it could be easy, or it could be extremely frustrating and you can bang your head against the wall. The window cleaning business is a business that from the outside looks easy, like a piece of cake, but from the inside it can be the exact opposite and there's some misconceptions. So uh, what I want to talk about is these six things and I'll get right into it. Number one is the current state of the window cleaning business. Is that $40 billion a year in the United States alone is spent on cleaning services. There are people who are, you know, middle to upper middle class to high class people who are busy working and they don't have time to clean their houses, they don't have time to clean their windows or to clean their carpets and they're spending uh, all types of buku bucks on cleaning services in order to save time and there are literally windows everywhere that you look, everywhere you go. Once you start thinking about this and your brain starts to see it, you go, oh my God, there's windows in this office right now. There's windows on those buildings. There's windows everywhere you look. And that means that there's windows that need to be clean. There's money everywhere you look when you're in the window cleaning business, especially when you're looking through windows. So that means there's a huge opportunity all around us. When I first got started in cleaning windows, I was like, dude, there's too much competition. Oh my God, there's no money. No one's gonna want their windows clean. And uh, when you understand marketing and how to get your foot in the door, then you learn that the opposite is absolutely true. So, but there's one more thing that I want to I talk about is uh, we're in an entirely new world here. Number two, there's a new world. There's a new reality to this whole thing. You know, for 50, 60, 70 years, people clean windows. That was it. But now with this whole new internet and internet marketing paradigm, there's an entirely new reality. And that reality is really based on uh, authenticity, congruency, transparency, and 
presenting yourself as a, a top-notch or top shelf type of person company solopreneur whatever it may be like if you're solo going around cleaning windows that because you're cleaning people's windows you are representing a company you're going inside of people's homes which is um, you know license insurance some people want to get bonded I can't go, give out any legal advice or anything like that here but this new world is transparency everywhere. People will go on Google and they will leave a bad review about your company if you do the smallest thing that is unprofessional freaks them out. It's happened to me recently in my own company where I had to resolve an issue with a customer because they left a bad review. We get tons of positive reviews and that made me even see more that whoa and that the smallest thing. So we're in a whole new reality, a new world and this whole internet shift means that just passing out door hangers and flyers and putting an ad in the newspaper is not necessarily going to work anymore like it used to because now people are on their phones, they're on the internet, they go, they look for cleaning service, they're in a hurry. Okay, this guy, okay, they look really credible, okay, they got a lot of five-star reviews, their website looks legit, okay, positive, clean, friendly, they were in and out of the house in a jiffy but did a phenomenal job, reasonable price. Call now, click one button, boom. So and so window cleaning services, how can I help you, right? I actually have an entire telephone script that you can follow word by word inside of my book. But this new reality is comes with some more stuff because I'm gonna tell you some good news. My sloppy handwriting. The good news is that when you're aware of this stuff, you can take full advantage uh, with windows being everywhere and understanding the internet, internet marketing and understanding how to conduct yourself on the internet and show that uh, is very good news because that means you can get into it and you can start making money fairly quickly by learning about social media marketing strategies, uh, signpost, Twitter, I can name off all the social medias all day, you know what they are. and these awesome marketing companies like signpost and angie's list and home advisor and yodel you pay these people a couple hundred bucks a month and it's like hiring virtual assistant professionals that market your business for you and bring you in pre-qualified leads and that's really good when you understand that all but there's bad news the bad news about this all is if you don't know what you're doing and these other companies do or these other people do or these other solo entrepreneurs do know what they're doing and you don't you're gonna run around and bang your head against the wall you're not gonna make a penny and it's gonna seem impossible your your sunshiny dream of making money cleaning windows or growing a window cleaning business is gonna instantly turn dark and you're gonna come home frustrated I first started this business I came home with I would make 40 bucks an entire day I thought it was impossible. The amount of rejection that you're going to go through is hell. You better have a very thick skin because when you walk into a storefront with some squeegees on or you leave them in the truck, whatever, some business cards, you say, hi, it's a cell phone store. There's an employee at the counter. You say, hi, my name is Keith. I own a local window cleaning business. And we're currently expanding in this area. We're out cleaning windows. Um, and your windows are dirty. Is the owner in? Oh, he's not in right now. Uh, and you see the owner in the back. Well, I see the owner back there. Can I talk to him? Ah, send him away. He's trying to sell us something. That's why I wouldn't bring the squeegees in. It depends on where you go. You know what I'm saying? But the owner, okay, can I help you? Hi, my name is Keith. I own a local window cleaning business. Or my name is Joe. I own a local window cleaning business. And we're expanding in this area. I notice your windows are dirty. And um, they don't want to hear it, right? You say, well, we're currently expanding in this area. Your windows are dirty. And, dude, I'll clean them all right now. Fifteen bucks. Ah, uh, no, no. We already have a guy who cleans the windows. Okay, so when is the last time he was here? Oh, uh, he comes every two weeks. Well, I'm looking at your windows. They look like they haven't been cleaned in months. Dude, I'll clean them right now for fifteen bucks. No, 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 we're good, we're all set. Well, tell you what, good, reliable window cleaners are hard to come by. If you need your windows clean, I understand you're busy, here's my card. I'm in the area every two weeks. You just make this stuff up if you're just getting started. Okay, well, whatever, how much you said 15 bucks to clean them? You pull the cookie away, you know? 
Now you might have to go through five, six, seven stores to do this. Pull the cookie away. Uh, you know what? They are pretty clean. Just, just go ahead and clean them. Cash? Yeah, cash. Go in your truck, get your squeegees, clean all the windows, wipe down the sills, make sure you have a receipt book necess uh, handy from like the dollar store or Walmart or Staples or Office Max. This is all inside of my book. And write them a receipt. Hey, I'll be in the area in two weeks. You want your windows clean two weeks or once a month? And eh, we'll think about it next time. Stop and say hi, you did a good job. Now when I first started, I was scared. I was using paper towel. I was so nervous and it showed. But that's kind of how you do it. But the bad news is that if you don't know how to do any of this stuff, you don't understand the strategies and you can't handle rejection, then you're, you're not going to make a penny and you might as well go get a job. It's, it's very frustrating. As much as it can be very lucrative and as much as you can have a great day, it's just the amount that you can have a horrible day and make no money and go home frustrated to the point of disbelief. We're going to talk about who wins. Who wins in this new reality, in this new paradigm? Those who win who are the ones and the people who apply information technology into their businesses. Those who win are those who really focus on, focus on building a whole professional business and a professional attitude, a professional environment, and a professional experience for their customers around their window cleaning business because you are actually in the people business. You just happen to be cleaning windows. And I learned some of this stuff too from Joshua Latimer, automategrowcell.com. Dude is making 150,000 a month in his window cleaning business. And I'm, I'm friends with this guy. And I said, dude, how did you do it? How in the hell did you do that, right? Because we do probably 150 grand a year in our business. And we also do landscaping as well. Those of you know me that we do that. But uh, our average day out cleaning windows is over $500. But I talked to this guy. He's like, listen, we provided an experience for the customer that was exceptional. And they felt a certain way. I was like, oh. And he teaches how to do all that in, in his programs and stuff like that. The guy's awesome. But um, who wins are the people who understand certain things about marketing psychology, the psychology of customers, the psychology of what? That window cleaning is a luxury service. If you're running around trying to convince people to let you clean their windows, it's different and it's not going to work as much as going out and attracting the people who already want their windows cleaned, right? You want people that maybe have been through a window cleaner or two and then now you can go in and knock their socks off because they already want the service. And the only way you could do that is through marketing, through profiling your customers, through building a customer avatar and actually going and seeing, you know, what zip code, what neighborhoods, what this, what that. Now, if you've never cleaned windows before, I suggest you get started doing strip malls and plazas, stuff outside, concrete, right? Obviously you would lay down a drop cloth. We actually lay down blue huck towels. I'll just put six of them in a row in front of the windows we're cleaning. Then I pick them up. Um, what was I going to say? I'm going to try using drop cloths, right? I'm going to get some drop cloths now because I see a lot of window cleaners doing that. But I would just lay down blue huck towels or something that there's white carpet, right? But on concrete and strip malls and plazas, the water drips on the concrete, no big deal. Get started. Get in where you fit in immediately. But we're going to talk about who loses. Who loses in this game are the people who refuse to learn, they refuse to adopt information technology, they refuse to uh, build a nice mobile friendly website with an optimized WordPress blog, a Tumblr blog, advertising a Twitter, Facebook likes page with boosting the posts, making sure you get a five star review from every single customer and thanking them so they could post it publicly. Those who lose are the people who don't adopt this new way, who are still stuck in the brainwashing that our parents are telling us that you got to get a job or um, there's an, I, dude, I'm telling you right now, I'll be completely honest that I'm seeing it happen and change so fast. I have these, uh, this popular video, 12 Craigslist ads a day. You go on Craigslist now, dude, it's saturated. Uh, we post Craigslist ads all the time. Most people who are looking for luxury services and window cleaning are not looking on Craigslist to have their windows clean. It's the huge 
difference between if you're doing a different type of service business. Um, I've still, I've found people that clean our carpets off Craigslist. People still use it and it still works, but nowhere near as much as it used to. Now, just think of yourself when you look at your phone and you're looking at a business, where are you looking? People who don't have their business on Yelp, who don't have their business on Yahoo, on Bing, on different search and aren't investing a percentage of their income into their marketing campaign that aren't reinvesting into their businesses uh, and don't have you know lettering on their trucks and don't, uh, it's so, there's so much that plays into the perception that I'm still even learning in my own window cleaning business from the moment the customer picks up the phone to call you until totally done writing you the check and then after you leave how you're following up with those customers through email autoresponder campaigns like MailChimp, GetResponse, Infusionsoft, sending them coupons, testimonial reviews, uh, a percentage off their next window cleaning if they refer you to a customer, to in, uh, them and their neighbor discounts. There, it's so deep, man, I can't even explain it all in this video how different the paradigm in this reality has changed. And those who don't adopt this and understand this, you can think you're out hustling and working hard, but that's not gonna make your business grow anymore. You can go work your ass off and you might be able to make enough money to support just you, but you won't be able to you know, grow and be able to show uh, a substantial income to even grow a lifestyle business at all until you really understand what's going on in the magnitude of the change in this marketplace. So we're in interesting times and I explain a lot of the stuff in my new book, how to make $500 a day cleaning windows to some people that's um, absolutely, uh, what I'm saying is some people might watch this. If you see, you think 500 bucks a day, whoa. Cause there was a time when I first started my business, I thought that was impossible. $500 a day, you might as well said to me how to make $20,000 a day cleaning windows. But it's absolutely possible. We cleaned houses just yesterday, $720 cleaning windows. I have a client pays $850 every time we clean the windows. Our average window cleaning job is about $180 per job. Three of those in a day is over 500 bucks. Uh, the other day we did $320 window cleaning job, then we did one for $225. We only did a couple that day, but that was already $500 and something dollars. And your profit every day cleaning windows, if you're out cleaning windows all by yourself, you can make three, four hundred dollars a day. If you've got a worker working with you, you can clear four hundred dollars a day cleaning windows. Um, you really hustle and work till dark and you get some big jobs. You can make uh, five, six, seven hundred dollars a day cleaning windows. I have a buddy who makes a thousand dollars a day revenue in his business every single day, whether he's working or driving or answering the phone, no matter what he's doing, he's averaging a hundred dollars an hour every hour that he's working. That's what we try to shoot for when you're when we're cleaning windows is a hundred dollars an hour. You don't always get that. Sometimes you take on jobs, you're like, Ugh! where you, you know, we work the whole job and you're there three hours and you only made like 60 bucks. And there's some jobs you work two hours and you're in and out of the house and you're like, dude, I just made $180 profit, profit after all expenses. And we're already on our way to the next job. Uh, I look all the time, I cash checks. We'll do three window cleaning jobs in a day. <sighs> a big job, a medium job, and a little tiny job. And I'm like, dude, I just made $430 profit today off the cleaning windows. So $500 a day is totally, uh, it's easy. And I explain all of it inside of my book. Click the link in the description below to get a copy of my book. Uh, at the time of this video, it's only $19 on paperback. You can also get the ebook version or the Kindle version, have it delivered directly to your smartphone and be reading it right now as soon as you're done watching this video. The audiobook version also will be out soon at the time of this video. It's not done yet. I'm in the studio recording it. If it's in the link in the description below, then it's ready. You What's up? Hey. Battery died on my camera, but I'm back. Anyways, uh, I go very deep into this in this book. It's 19 bucks, but it goes up to $37. The book's a little bit pricey because I don't want to put out this type of information in the window cleaning industry that uh, a lot of business owners in the window cleaning industry kind of hold these secrets. Uh, they're not absolutely secrets, but they are to them. And 
to just be putting out information like this uh, at such a cheap price for people that hold so much value to this information of how to make $500 a day cleaning windows, this must be a $37 book because the information in this book will make you $500 a day cleaning windows. This is literally no joke. Uh, you're looking at 160 pages in 17 chapters. The audiobook will be several hours long, uh, very in-depth about what to, what to charge, uh, pricing, the mindset behind pricing, strategies and how to acquire customers and get your foot in the door in high-end homes and nice neighborhoods, search engine optimization, uh, where you can print and get marketing media resources, an entire chapter dedicated to the water-fed pole system and how the science and technology of it works and how to use it, a step-by-step -step protocol of what to do inside a customer's homes, of how to actually like clean the windows, um, about branding, how to go legit and pay taxes, how to actually register your business online and how to find a CPA to start paying taxes, when to go and how to get insured, which you should be insured immediately. Uh, the 30% rule about how to save money so you'll never ever be broke and how you can afford to pay all your taxes and be legit in this business. Split testing, an entire telephone script of how to speak to customers. Uh, absolute no-brainer. A truck, a van, or a car, <laughs> a total conclusion to this. I put my heart and soul into writing this book. Uh, it took me a good two months, well if you, you include all the editing and everything that happened, you know, out of 15 edits of this book, and I did write it and edit myself, I spent several uh, years studying and how to be an author, I'm very passionate about doing this and putting out this information, even uh, Joshua Latimer put a blurb on the front of it. Um, there is still a couple run-on sentences in misspelled words, out of, uh, I think it's something like 128,000 words are in this book, uh, but as far as everything else, it's very structured and organized. Detroit Sponge, Mike Worlway, there's resources in there so you can uh, order equipment, window cleaning resource, Chris Lamarnides, Thad Etkoff. I'll also um, be speaking on stage at the huge convention in Washington, D.C. as an author of the Window Cleaning Blueprint talking about social media domination. Really excited about that. If you want to meet me there, I can. Uh, if you have the book, I can sign a copy for you. And chapter nine, you will see it when you believe it. First, you must actually believe that you can make a fortune cleaning windows. Think about that. When you get into high-end homes in rich neighborhoods, not only are people willing, but they want to pay top dollar for the highest quality service. In my own window cleaning business, probably one out of every five jobs is $400 or higher. I'm not lying when I tell you that I've cleaned windows for four, five, six, seven, eight, and even $900 to clean a 12,000 square foot mansion. The mansion was glass only outside. I tell an entire story. It's a classic struggle to victory story mixed with a how-to guide uh, on how to make $500 a day cleaning windows. Very excited about this in the near future. It might already be out at the time of this video. An entire video training course called the Window Cleaning Blueprint will be out. It'll be about 20 hours of jam content packed information on how and everything in this book. Plus, you get a digital copy of the book, an audio copy of the book, an interview, several interviews actually with uh, window cleaning experts and uh, 20 hours of video on going inside of homes and I got permission to go inside of some customers homes and show you everything about the window cleaning business you can't even uh, it's I believe that my video training course coming out will be the most in-depth on this topic but for now you can get the book shipped directly to your house uh, shows up, open it up, and start reading it. Awesome. It just, I'm very excited about this. Click the link in the description below and get your copy of How to Make $500 a Day Cleaning Windows. And until then, uh, go on, keep negative thoughts out of your brain, only allow posit positive thoughts, and create your reality. You can create your reality. Thank you very much. What's up, this is Keith Kelfis with the Window Cleaning Blueprint. And if you're trying to get a window cleaning business off the ground, and maybe you're looking around online trying to find information of how to start a window cleaning business, then in this video, I wanna take you inside of my online membership course. It's called the Window Cleaning Blueprint Online Course. <laughs>
And it basically, in this video, I'm going to take you inside and actually show you what's inside of my window cleaning blueprint course. So whether you're starting a window cleaning business brand new, right, or you, you've already gotten started and you're really frustrated, or maybe you're trying to add window cleaning as a new service to your existing business, you're in the right place. So at any time during this video, if you want to click the link in the description below and just directly go and check out the course, feel free to do so. But without any further ado, let's go inside and take a look at my window cleaning blueprint course. What's up? It's Keith Kelfis, founder of the Window Cleaning Blueprint, and welcome to this this presentation where I'm going to show you and take you inside of the Window Cleaning Blueprint course. I'm very excited, and you've probably been pretty curious, so I'm going to show you exactly what's inside of this entire online training program that you can take from your smartphone, your tablet, your laptop, your computer, and show you what you're going to get. So here we are. I'm scrolling through the entire course here. It's about uh, six weeks long, and every week a new uh, module opens up and unlocks. We have property walks, pricing, how to clean windows, obviously, how to start your business and your corporation, interviews with uh, window cleaning uh, business entrepreneurs who are very successful. We're going to talk about marketing, how to collect and manage money, how to sell jobs, so much here. So starting from the beginning... And you get access from all, to all this immediately, um, except for the stuff that unlocks each week, because I don't want to overwhelm you with too much stuff too soon. There's a lot here. But the first video here that you could even take from your smartphone at your own pace is uh, the welcome and agenda video where I'll be talking about, you know, saying welcome and congratulations and how to actually use your new window cleaning blueprint course, how, what you can expect from it. Uh, you got the mp3 downloads all here on the right that you just hold down and click and then you can download directly to your laptop or your smartphone make sure you get all that stuff and then you know all your stuff here and then moving right along we're going to go into um a big picture overview of how window cleaning business actually works and the whole window cleaning industry as a whole how big it actually is and how much opportunity and money there is um more on that then we're going to get into the different modalities of marketing and the components of how to run a small business there's a lot of stuff here a lot of nuts and bolts things that i've learned through years and years of hard work and effort and study and also uh, a lot of money that i spent in consulting and coaching myself and things i've pulled to put all this together to a, into a completely comprehensive video training course that you can take. We're going to teach you how to actually set up your corporation. I can't give tax advice, but I I talk about how to set up how to set up a corporation and get an accountant and a CPA. How to move forward, when to do what, but then uh, selling and getting inside of customers' homes. Um, there you go. See, very very detail oriented about marketing. This stuff is is. <laughs> Stuff I wish I would have learned in the beginning, collecting and managing money, different bank accounts. and uh, But moving into walking around properties, uh, we're going to be walking around properties. I'm going to be showing you showing you exactly, my, putting my hands on the windows and pointing at the windows, and showing how much to charge, how much to charge for houses, taking you inside of a customer's home and actually, because I got permission, which was really cool, and... Um, let me turn this down. Yeah, walking around different customers' homes, discussing, you know, uh, pricing, screen cleaning, what to expect, uh, high-end homes that are more expensive. Like that house is like 500 bucks right there. I'm sorry, that one was like 325 just to clean the windows on that one house. Uh, moving along here. Uh no, this is not videos from YouTube. This is all specially, um, all created for this course, very in-depth stuff. I think there is one or two videos that I do say, hey, this this one was on YouTube, but this one is really good, so I put it in the course. But um, everything in the course is all from um, completely exclusive and private to this course here. Um, I know somebody, at one time I had bought a course, and I go, wait a second. 80% of this stuff is stuff I found on YouTube. I want my money back, bro. So, um, no, I wouldn't do anything like that. And this is really in-depth here. 
Like I said, I would like to give all this stuff away for free, but it costs me uh, an arm and a leg to put all this stuff together. Uh, take you inside of my nice trailer, a little bit messy. An entire water-fed pole property walks, what to charge, how to use the water-fed pole system. This is very in deep. Two hours just on, oh, two or three hours just on the water-fed pole alone. So much stuff there. Um, this is one of my favorite part of the whole course, if, to tell you the truth. I actually was on a property for several hours here. And I'm talking all I'm going across like hundreds of houses in conversations that I've cleaned with the water fed pole and all the little tiny things that you can expect. There's one part where I talk about how you could actually get yourself in some pretty big trouble and how to avoid that and how I almost, you know, I could have gotten sued if I didn't realize something. And um, it's just a really kind of fun to watch and also you can download the mp3 version of all of this and listen to it while you work. I think that's what's really kind of cool. I think that's very important in courses is to make sure you have an MP3. You know, not everybody can afford to sit there and watch all this stuff all the time. So you can actually listen to it while you're working and making money. And so there you go. I'm cleaning that windows. This house right here, I, uh, I charge $199 every time we clean just the outside. And then it's 400 when we do the inside and the outside. And we're there a couple times a year. And it's cool. We could bang out that whole house in a couple hours and make, you know, I make 200 bucks. Um, what else here? Oh, yeah. Going inside of customer's house. How to actually, you know, clean windows and screens. This is the real deal. Yeah, so I'm talking about... I'll show you. I got permission to go inside of a customer's house. Uh, what kind of towels to use, why, how to operate and conduct yourself inside of a house, um, how to clean screens. This one specific video is on YouTube. So I think there's two videos in this whole course that were on YouTube because I show how to clean screens and that's pretty basic. So there's no point in showing that again. This right here, this is about an hour long. Oh, I'm sorry, 36 minutes. It's how to actually clean windows and all the tools that I've used, uh, what I use. And this is cool. I got permission to go into one of my real estate customers' houses for several hours and, you know, set up a camera in, and I actually go over the different techniques of how to clean windows and what solutions to use. And then we go deeper into advice and a lot of things that I've learned. See, if you can see there, a lot of stuff and up close. And I've probably made several hundred thousand dollars cleaning windows now. And I'm pretty happy with it because it's just a simple business. Uh, scraping windows. That was funny. We don't normally scrape windows in my business, but that scraper <laughs> was sitting in the uh, trailer for a couple weeks and got a little bit of rust around the edges and I cleaned it up. But the, the finite tip of it was perfectly uh, it was clean. There was no problem with it. But it gets oxidized. And you see right there, I'm teaching how to scrape windows and uh, there's a glass uh, scratch waiver form. Oh, I'm glad I'm here right now because I have to actually put the waiver form right here in this video as well. So you can download the form to make sure your customers sign it. I also talk about how much to charge. And then we have the Detroit Sponge Tour and then also an actual interview, a private interview with Mike Warway from Detroit Sponge. He talks about the whole window cleaning industry. This is my favorite favorite part right here the private interview with joshua latimer this guy was doing like a hundred and eighty thousand dollars a month in this window cleaning business with 10 crews this this interview will bring tears to your eyes man it's crazy like listen to him He starts talking about the mission, and he, he gives you this, this perspective, dude, that almost makes you cry. It's amazing. That guy started out with nothing. And then here we go. we got uh, Sid Graff from Squeegeology. 
this guy is awesome. He's got his uh, window cleaning business running, you know, almost on autopilot. He does very well for himself, has multiple crews, and this guy can, like, go on vacations and stuff with his wife. So he talks about marketing and how to, you know, uh, he did a whole special presentation for this, and he's a very smart guy. You can look him up. And then um, we got interviews with Dave Carroll. This guy does just under a million dollars a year in window cleaning and pressure washing in his business, property maintenance. And this guy is a wizard. He's a Facebook ads pro. He talks about hiring employees and long-term business overview. This, this, it's an, it's amazing. To see, I can't even explain it. I, I put so much into this. And so anyways, uh, and then as more unlocks, more goes. And it's a lot of stuff. I don't want you to feel like you got to get all this in in one evening. It's going to take you a few weeks. And this is really going to open up your eyes to the entire window cleaning business. There's a lot of really good information in here. And I'm really excited for you. And as always, I have my 30-day uh, money-back guarantee. If you decide for any reason you don't like the course, um, just send me an email at my customer support, and I'll give you 100% money back refund. No questions asked whatsoever. Boom. i send you a refund, and there you go. So I take all the risk, and then you can get inside of this course and get jamming along immediately and absorbing all this. Just the marketing stuff alone, uh, stuff that I've, I've probably invested I can't even say how many hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars in learning all the stuff here. Don't take this for granted, the stuff that's inside of here. This is, if if you like the way that I teach and communicate and you can resonate with me and, and you you can feel when I'm talking, then I really think that you'll like the stuff. It gets, it gets pretty deep. It's not the type of stuff that I put on YouTube. So, okay, thank you very much. I'm Keith Kalfas, and that's the Window Cleaning Blueprint course, and I'm very happy to uh, take you on as my client. I'd love to see you inside of the course, and uh, you're in good hands. All right. All right, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the presentation and what's inside of the course. If you want to check it out, cool. If it's right for you, then you should get it and go through the course and check it out. If at any time you decide you don't like it, you just send me an email to my customer support on my website. I'll give you a full 30 day money back guarantee. No, no questions asked. So, all right. I hope you get the course and I hope you love it. And either way, no matter what you do, I, I hope you, you pull the trigger and start your window cleaning business, whether it's my stuff or somebody else's stuff that you get. All right. Thank you.